Hi, I'm Pilot Robert and today we're going to do a little test. As you probably saw on my old videos, I have a multiplex twister with the Dr. Matt Trust Afterburner. It works on a 3-cell battery and as you can see from the videos it works great. But just today the viewer sent me a question that he also has Dr. Matt Trust and it works perfectly on a 3-cell battery but when he plug the 4-cell battery the afterburner just burns red nothing else happens so I got interested too to see what's with this so I decide to make this little test here on the table I have the 3 cell battery the 4 cell battery and the 6 cell battery if we try these 3 batteries and get a good result I think that even up to the 12 cell battery it would work so here I have a servo tester this will be our throttle the batteries for the servo tester and I always have a spare afterburner in my storage so today I took a 90 millimeter afterburner so first we will begin with the three cell battery so I will put this aside for now and this we will put them here and open the afterburner from Hobby King this is a 90 millimeter afterburner And I don't believe this. <laughs> this doesn't have the connector for the LiPo service connector here. You must iron your own. But I won't do this now. So I will put this aside and took another. Take another afterburner. Oh yeah. I also have a spare one. <laughs> 75 millimeter. And this one, let me show you. This one already has this connector unlike this and that is because different batteries have a different this space here is more white then on a 3 cell battery so the 3 cell battery we will try with this and the other two we will try with this we will just try to put these cables in without soldering anything on so let's begin first we will test the three cell battery I will put this like a throttle and now 
we will plug in the three cell you must be careful with this the black and red cable you must put the red in red and black in black otherwise it won't burn out like they say in the manual but it won't work so let's test this oh yeah look at this Dr. Matt Trust afterburner 75 millimeters on a three cell battery test one let me see the camera oh yeah great I will just turn off one light so we can see it better let's test this on the three cell battery oh yeah look at this the only thing that's missing is the sound huh but nevertheless this is just the test for the afterburner so we can see now that this is working I will try to connect the other one here in the dark this is the this is the three cell test I will unplug this and this put this aside and we will now take the 90 millimeters afterburner let me just put this here like this put this in here for the throttle like this and now we will test the four cell battery I hope that this will work without the proper connector like this oh yeah <laughs> check this out the four cell battery seems to work perfectly now let's test oh yeah come on I don't understand why the Carlo my viewer said that he had problems with the four cell battery as you can see it works perfectly I will put the lights back on so you can see that this is that this is a four cell a four cell battery let me show you uh, zippy four cell battery let's connect this and and one more try on the four cell all right look at this I have this for uh, the Duft Hobby Viper jet I will put them on so this is the four cell battery I will unplug this and now we will try the six cell battery and see what will happen red on red plus on plus and minus and minus oh yeah <laughs> this is great this is the best thing to get sure that the mat trust works on a 3 to 12 cell battery like they say in the manual so the test oh yeah check this out guys it works perfectly let me just turn the lights off I 
and try it one more time. <coughs> Sorry. Perfectly. On a six cell battery. It doesn't matter what, capa what, what capacity you have, only that it is from three to six cell. And baby, just for fun, we will try the two afterburners at the same time. One on the six cell battery and one on the three cell battery. As long as I have them here. Oh yeah, baby, come on. <laughs> this is great. Let's check out. Oh my God, how bright is this? It's beautiful. Very good product, very good. Let me just turn the lights off. Now that you have a chance to see two afterburners at the same time. I haven't done a video like this before. So, one more try, easy and slowly. Oh yeah, look at this. Great colors. Very bright. Turn the engines off. All right, this is it. So, the lights back on again. And this is the result of the test. We tried afterburner on three cell battery, on a four cell battery, and on a six cell battery. And on all batteries, it works perfectly. 75 millimeter afterburner and the 90 millimeter afterburner. So Carlo, if you have a problem that your afterburner does not work, probably it's in this. In the electronics otherwise I don't know what else to tell you if it doesn't work properly send it back or get another one because it's only it only costs $13 on the Hobby King so how can you go wrong if you buy a spare one like me just in case like Captain Blush said you never know when you're going to buy another EDF jet and you can use this great and beautiful afterburner. So, pilots, this is it. This is the test for the EDF afterburner on different batteries. And as you can see, you have a great result. So, see you next time.